What surprised me the most is I get approached all the time by lots of different people who are desperate to get signed or really want a manager. But how they present it to me is really strange. There's no useful information. They don't send it to me, they send it to a generic person. So I'm hoping this talk highlights a few things and that you go away knowing the easiest and best ways to kind of approach people. If you're going to message someone, spend a few minutes and find out their name. Because if I get sent, hi, I think you'll love my track, take a listen, it doesn't really inspire me. It's not very creative. And also, I get the impression he's probably sent it to 55 other people. Uh, if you're presenting it to someone, present the right kind of information. So a manager might want different information to a music supervisor would be very different to what a promoter is looking for. Uh, an A&R guy at a label is very different to an A&R guy at, I say guy, person, at uh, a publishing company. So bear those in mind. What is it that this person wants to see and make it easy, easy, easy to find out? I want all the information in one place as fast as I can. So, dear Dina, Great start, I'm already interested, you found out my name, I'm totally gonna to read your email or message, whatever it might be. Always have these kind of things to hand because no matter who you're gonna be dealing with, there's probably a few key things you're gonna need. A short biography, and by short, I mean a paragraph. Not, not 55 paragraphs, I don't want your life story. Keep it succinct, because that'll really help. Because if you're in an airport or you're running between meetings and an email catches your attention, you want it to be quick. Please, please don't send high quality web files or massive photographs because I have to download it. And if I'm in the middle of meetings, I'm not gonna download it, I'll forget it, and it gets like bummed down to the end of my emails and then it gets lost in forever land. So send links, really important because people can stream them. It's really accessible, it doesn't take very long. So you can use SoundCloud, which is free. You can use Dropbox, there's free versions of that. If you have music on Spotify, send me those links. If you've got videos on YouTube, even better. Promoters love to see live videos. So if I'm a promoter, I wanna see at least three or four videos of you doing what you do well in a live space. Be concise. As I was saying, keep it short. When you're sending all that relevant information, you might even want to include social media because in this day and age, that's what people will be looking at. So include a link to your Facebook account, your Instagram account, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, whichever ones are important to you and whichever ones might be important to the person you're contacting. As I mentioned, a music promoter might be more interested in your YouTube account, but a label a and guy might be all over your Instagram account. So instead of me having to find out this information, have it all ready and available. There's something that the industry uses between like different organizations called a one sheet. And it is exactly as it describes, it's one sheet. So an A4 page, what can you get on an A4 page? A picture of yourself, your name, social media links, short biography, and we work in a creative industry, make it look awesome. If you have one page to impress people, make it look fabulous. Go wild on paint shop, get your friends to do something colorful, anything that comes to mind. It's really worth doing because something really impactful in a short amount of time gets people's attention. Be creative. You don't know who these people are gonna be in 10 years time or what they might get from your email. So it doesn't even have to be an email. I know I get tons and tons of messages on Facebook and Instagram. 10 years ago, no one contacted me on social media, and now it seems to be the only form that exists. So don't send six or seven messages in a long chain. Send one, make it impactful. Make it clear, and then I might contact you back. So don't do anything to distract people's attention from what you're trying to achieve, which is you want them to listen to your music. You want them to understand why you are so awesome, they want to sign you right away. Build a relationship with the people you're trying to contact, even if they don't engage with you immediately. For example, music supervisors, you might send them a song now and they might not have any use for it. They might have listened to it 
And in a year's time, they're working on an episode of some new Netflix mega hit. And they'll be like, that song I heard that's in my inbox a year ago. And they'll go and find it because the music supervisors are amazing. And what they'll need to see is who owns the publishing rights, who owns the master rights, bam, your song will be in the thing. Because that's what music, music supervisors tell me. No one ever tells them the useful stuff. They just go, my song is great. And it's like, yeah, but I need more than that. Make it so easy for me to use this that I don't use another piece of music. Please don't get disheartened if you don't get a response on the first time. Follow up, it's always worth a go. Don't follow up too many times because then you start to look a bit like a stalker and then you kind of lose any initial love that you've created. So pace yourself, you know. Well, how would you like to be talked to? What is it that you like when people present stuff to you? Because you know, we're all human beings. Let's like take that as your foundation. The a and guys are not special unicorns. They're just guys and girls, mostly guys, but there are some girls. We're trying to change that, ladies. Um, so, those are the three things that you should always bear in mind. And if you bump into someone in a lift, ah, oh, you should listen to this. This is a great track. Let me SMS you. CDs are really difficult. I remember last year when I was here, I got given loads of demo CDs, and I was amazed, because I was like, wow, CDs. I haven't had a CD in ages. But I don't have a CD drive in my computer. So I was like, ah, oh, no, I don't get to listen to these. So remember. Not every market is the same. Japan, very physical market, even in France, but I live in Sweden. The CD kind of came and went many, many years ago. They are so super digital there that even if you have an iPod, they think you're like a Flintstone. So bear in mind who you're talking to and just make it relevant and fun. And we are creative. Please don't forget we're in a creative industry. So present yourself in a creative way because there are loads of people trying to get attention and the more awesome and interesting and exciting you look, the more people will engage.